Hello everybody, um, Luke Cargill, uh, Gary and Cindy's oldest, um, Pathways Homestead, Kansas City location, <laughs> maybe, kind of, um, just wanted to talk to y'all, I know y'all see mom and dad a lot, you see the girls, but you don't see me a whole lot, um, I live in Kansas City, have for the past almost five years, mostly in Kansas City, um, but I don't come home all that often, and there's a couple of reasons for that, but one of the biggest ones is, is I get so busy, and I get caught up in a lot of things, I get opportunities to go overseas, I get um, opportunities to work, and build good community here in Kansas City, um, something that I really, really enjoy. Um, and it's not that I don't like coming home. I love coming home. I love our lifestyle. I love the things we do. Um, and part of that is that I do those things here in Kansas City. Uh, things that my parents taught me, I use every day. I'm a supervisor for the grounds crew at my school. Um, I'm 23 years old and I'm a supervisor. Over some men, I've got a guy that's 26. I've got a guy that's in his 50s. And I am given authority over the work and over those men because I have been trained by my dad and by my mom in how to do this work well and how to enjoy it and how to glorify God doing it. Um, I use these skills that I, I learned growing up that I thought were normal things. Um, I use them to make money on the side. I sell my knives. I build things for people. Um, I use a vehicle to go pick up stuff for um, some construction crews that I know. Um, just because I have the knowledge that my parents were good to teach me. That took the time to teach me to do these things that um, help me as a grown man. And um, all these things are great. Like I'm sitting on a chair that my dad um, taught me the skills to build out of scrap lumber. This chair didn't cost me a dime. Um, behind me, I've got raised beds growing food. I've got three raised beds in a little um, town, in a little house in the middle of Kansas City, um, growing a lot of my own food. I um, just bought my fishing licenses for this year. Uh, I have all these wonderful skills that have helped me here in Kansas City and have also helped me around the world. Um, some of you all know that I'm a culture student and have gotten opportunities to live in Asia and Africa and to do amazing, wonderful things there. Um, I've lived in villages and I've lived in cities. I've gotten to talk with tribal leaders on the tops of the Himalayan foothills. I've gotten to sit with um, kids in the bush of Africa and discuss something that my parents taught me that is so much more important than the skills that I use. And this is, this is what it is. The contents of this book. This is the Bible are the most important thing my parents have ever given me. Information about Christ, the story of Christ, who He is, what He did, why He came, is the most important thing my parents have ever taught me. Um, Proverbs 22, it's like the sixth verse, says, train up a kid in the way he should go, even when he's old, he will not depart from it. I love my skills. I love doing what I do. I love the little hobbies that I pick up, and they enrich my life greatly. But without Christ, without the most important thing that my parents taught me, um, and they, you can't force anybody to follow Christ. I chose to follow Christ. Without that, all this stuff would be an empty pastime. 
I just got an opportunity today with, to hang out with my neighbors, to uh, help them till a garden spot, um, to pass on those skills that I know. Um, I get opportunities with church friends to bring them dirt, to teach them how to build raised beds, to uh, teach them how to uh, frame up their floor joists, how to remodel a bathroom. Um, all these opportunities are for glorifying Christ, are for building relationships in order to tell people, in order to teach people, in order to um, give people the most important knowledge the most important um, thing they could possibly know and that is that Christ came and died to save sinners he rose again and he lives today I love mom and dad and that is the most important thing they have ever told me and I want y'all to know about it love y'all hide and watch